People are curious since the crusade just came out, but our next record, I guess they can expect something by next year, I guess it's safe to say. But Sometime, I just don't know uh, when. Tentatively, we still got a lot of... Uh, In the year 2055. Still got, <laughs> still got a lot of... Uh, a lot of touring to do on this record for another, till, at least till the end of the year. And then uh, we're trying to tentatively plan out that hopefully we'll have a new Trivium studio album out maybe late summer, fall of 08, hopefully. So uh, you're just going to have to wait. We've toured with so many bands. I mean, obviously, you know, we love touring with Metallica Maiden because they were our favorite bands of all time. But I'd have to say this is the most fun tour we've ever done before due to the fact that the other bands on this tour are such amazing people. It'd have to be Gojira, Sanctity, Annihilator. We've pretty much been broing down every night like it's spring break, so it's pretty sweet. Yeah, the Sanctity guys have been really good friends of ours for like four years. So it's, it's cool to finally actually go on tour with them and we just party it, party it up like we're silly little college students. <laughs> It's all different, I guess. I don't know. A lot of time in the mirror, lots of hair product. <laughs> no, uh, actually, it's just the. You have some of those shitty emo bands. No, this, is, I, this is metal hair. This is just, this is just all natural. Just wash it, let it dry, and that's how it forms. It's just, I just got the, the metal jeans, <laughs> the hair. <laughs> uh, I'd say uh, for me, Biolage shampoo and conditioner, and then I just fucking let it dry, and that's it. it smells wonderful, but this is just how I wake up with it. Yeah. So there's no fucking straighteners like those other bands. Like, hey guys, what's up? Or <laughs> summer before the fall of yesterday. <laughs> None of that shit going on for Trivium. <laughs> Dude, Maybe know. there is a band called that. I hope not. <laughs> if there is, that was just a coincidence, Dude, I, I and I'm can, sorry. I can, I can do the best old school metal hair. It's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty good. I can get like the whole long hair with like the, the like the bangs. Like I just flip it up, dude. And we took photos of it. it. Actually, looked like I had like '80s hair. It's great. That's how you really go old school, is if you can fake it. Rock scene divided. I'm no, not really it's, sure what that means. Well, music, music is so fucking divided, but it's pretty stupid because good music is good music regardless of what it is. Um, fucking, you know, if, if NSYNC writes a killer song, well, they're, they're done. But, you know, there, there's some good Justin Timberlake shit out there that I like. But, you know, a year ago, I was listening to death metal. So it's all just, it, it doesn't matter. Hey! <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is, you know, as long as it's just good music is good music. And um, I don't know, people just need to stop their fronts, you know, just because you listen to ultra cultist satanic black metal from the farthest regions of Iceland, it doesn't really make you tough. So, whatever. <laughs> Chill out. I had to sell my soul to the devil. We sacrificed Paula's virginity. <laughs> now, uh, to be in a band, uh, I guess. I don't really call it a sacrifice, but I guess you lose privacy at certain points. Like when you're on tour, you, there's always someone trying to get a your time or a piece of you and stuff. So you kind of lose some privacy at certain times, and then uh, and also just being away from home, just kind of having like a stable uh, at home, constant, I guess, in the same place. So you definitely lose that stability, I guess, home life and, uh, and a guaranteed clean home toilet. Sure as hell don't have that out here. <laughs> or a guaranteed nice shower every yeah. day. Or so. good at some points. Not now because we've been fortunate enough to uh, have really awesome food every day. But uh, When um, you can't eat well, but we've got eat, caterers on this tour, so it's not so bad. At certain points in our touring life, we've had, we were on the Taco Bell diet for about two weeks. That was we, horrible. All we ate was fast food Taco Bell for we two that weeks. In 2004, we did it like an experiment, like uh, Super Size Me. We had Taco Bell like for every meal. I thought I was going to fucking die. <laughs> Quesadillas. Ugh. Uh, uh, we don't have perfect, perfect guitar tone. We're still looking for the guitar tone. We don't know what the fuck to do. So I think a lot of people will never find the right guitar tone. We've asked some of bands, that, the veteran metal and rock bands touring, and they still haven't found their tone. So I don't think anyone's ever going to actually find their tone, but we're going to keep trying. Um, uh, our just, gear, I guess we're not really, we're, we're kind of... top secret. Yeah, we don't know what's going on for Amps right now, but we play Dean guitars, that's what we know. And those and are, those are great. But other than that, it's... Uh, We're still searching, so there's an amp company out there watching for some reason. Give us a call. <laughs> it uh, just depends on what you're looking for. It's hard uh, for live stuff. You know, in the studio, you can layer stuff and really blend different sounds together to make, like, a really cool sound, and then to get that sound out of one amp is kind of tough because you don't... It's just smaller of a rig or whatever, and 
but uh, you can get pretty close and you know I'm pretty happy with what I got now it's just that uh, you're always striving to kind of and there's so much gear out there that you can mitch, ugh, mitch? Yeah, mix and match <laughs> to get different sounds and stuff and it's just a just the more opportunities you have to play different things and then you kind of develop over time the sound that you want so you know we're still uh, finding new little tricks and, and toys to play with to uh, kind of I think my keep burp improving. picked up Did it? I burped that's picked up <laughs> sorry you're laughing <laughs> oh wow that was so discreet guess, about it I was trying to be serious he just ruined it oh sorry dude next question <laughs> people get excited yeah, yeah we got pretty excited that, that one was sweet I think that will always probably be like the number one gig that everyone says for us but um we were all like hung over and played sloppy and our guitars were kind of all the guitars were out of tune they're all out of tune shit but I guess that doesn't matter I guess that's what made it cool because it was so fucking punk rock no one knew what the hell was going <laughs> on and it just was explosive so that was an awesome one then the next year we played all our guitars were in perfect tune and everyone thought we sucked <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen no would have been funny though um, hey, thanks a lot for your questions. Hopefully uh, we answered them to your liking. Probably not. Uh, and we'll see you next time on the same channel because we're always on. Yeah. Skiz. Sweet. <laughs>